appears as if <coughs> sorry there it appears as if new york governor andrew como has resigned of a sexual harassment claim he says the best way i can help now is to step aside i for one am shocked um of course the claims against him are pretty bleak to be honest it's just hilarious to hear him say you know not verbatim it was obviously kind of alluded to the idea that he said i'm not a pervert i'm just italian that's part of my culture i get handsy or whatnot especially when you read through the actual accounts of the women but it felt like when these first accounts kind of surfaced he was kind of being very bombastic and driven and basically saying hey i'm not going to resign this is obviously a political attack this there's no credence to these allegations blah 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 and it felt like you know with everything going on in the world maybe the best thing was to do was to just carry on and just kind of put your head down and just do your job in order to make sure you know your state was okay and to ensure the economy was bouncing back bloody blah, blah 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 but obviously as things have gotten back to some semblance of normality it did seem like if you were somebody that was trying to get Cuomo out the best way to do it would be to ramp up these allegations again get some other women on board on record to kind of run through their stories or share their experiences and then you'd hope in this kind of I want to say low period but when people are back outside and living their everyday lives and their kind of eyes are kind of gone off from the COVID thing that suddenly these accusations would hold a lot more weight and they'd kind of get back into a new cycle again and that would put more pressure on him and he eventually would have to resign and I for one fall because he's such an arrogant pompous kind of you know blowhard that clearly thinks he was going to be the next president which is hilarious and a lot of the media obviously thought he was going to be the next president too he he clearly thought he was going to be able to weather the storm and he was well liked enough in order to kind of get the benefit of doubt but again the press in america the media is just terrible because you think to yourself if this was a republican that did this a republican governor if this was ron DeSantis that was involved in something it's just imagine what the coverage would have been like just imagine the cause for him to resign how loud they would have been it would have been wall-to-wall coverage of everything that he did every kind of communication he had with a female would be dissected do you know what i mean so the fact that he was kind of given the first benefit of the doubt is something that wouldn't have been extended to anybody he survived that he wasn't able to obviously survive the second and now he's out and um just in terms of that as well it's just the lack of shame too that just operates in the world it's just something that's always boggled my mind you know regular people in everyday life are having to battle with having episodes of shame shameful moments things that you wish you never did never said blah 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 but it feels like whenever you reach a certain level in life socioeconomic level you can just do away with shame shame doesn't exist you can kind of just bluster your way through it no one really holds you to any kind of standard especially if you've got a job like the one that you know andrew Cuomo had new york governor right you'd imagine you'd have to kind of carry yourself in a certain way maybe not do some of the things that he's being alleged of doing and you know it, I would be horrified if anybody said this about me right just now as a person imagine having the job that he has and he didn't even feel the need to like no let me just bow out and let you guys concentrate on what needs to be concentrated on and i can go and fix my life and create the things i need to be corrected it's like nah i'm gonna stay in this job this job is mine i'm not going anywhere it's like god almighty the hubris on these people man it's just horrendous so it's a courtesy of CBS News. It says the following: New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced his resignation, resignation sorry, on Tuesday after more than a decade in the office as a state legislator pursued the uh, pursue sorry an impeachment inquiry and his sexual harassment allegations. Cuomo, who gained national prominence during the COVID nineteen pandemic, had been accused in a report by the state attorney general of sexually harassing eleven women. Eleven. Um, including staffers as well as people who did not work at his administration when i first heard it i thought you know what it's probably over the top they're going a bit extra but you actually go through the accounts which i'm going to specify in a moment i don't know how he just didn't walk the first time it's just perplexing but hey it says here i think given the circumstances the best way i can help now is to step aside and let the government get back to governing why didn't you do that in the first time you absolute wally he says here the reservation <coughs> is effective in 14 days sorry Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochel, is it Hochel? Hochel will take over. Cuomo's announcement came one week after the state attorney um, Letitia James announced that the findings of the investigation to claim sexual harassment and a toxic work environment against him. Cuomo's top advisor, Melissa De Rosa, who was mentioned more than 108 times in the report, resigned on Sunday night. It's always funny as well when these things happen. Well, not always funny, but it's always interesting. Whenever these high profile sexual harassment cases happen, there's always a very prominent high profile woman also that's kind of maybe aiding and abetting this person's behavior. 
and they always seem to get thrown under the bus as well, which I don't really understand because part of the reason why someone like him can assault people to that level um, for such a prolonged period of time is because he has the power and the influence to kind of get away with it and everyone's scared to report him. So why don't people extend that grace that they extend to victims of people that worked alongside him? Do you know what I mean? That woman, I don't think, you know, was um, coordinating meetings to put people in positions where they were getting assaulted. She was just trying to make sure she had a job. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's working. Everyone's scared of getting fired. They want to stand next to somebody whose star is obviously, obviously so bright and who had aspirations of going to the White House. It makes complete sense why they'd kind of turn a blind eye. But we should just focus on a monster, not on the... You know, do you know what I mean? The people next to them that were comp- quote unquote complicit to what they did. Obviously, their time will come, but I think the main focus should be on what he did. So there's a lot of discourse I saw online, especially on social, with people being like, oh, what he did wasn't too bad, and it's just a cultural thing, and these girls are being snowflakes and stuff. And then you go through the actual accounts of what happened, and they're all listed on these Wikipedia, right? No one wants this, right? No one wants to be. Imagine having a Wikipedia page that looks like this. Andrew Comer sucks your harassment allegations. Like, this is every man's nightmare. So, there's a whole list of allegations, right, of, of women and detailing what they basically said, what he did to them. Let's read the first one. Lead, uh, Lindsay Boylan said the following in december 2020 lindsey boylan a former aide of new york governor andrew cuomo and then candidate for manhattan borough president accused him in a series of tweets of sexual harassment and creating a toxic environment the new york Times published a link to boylan's lengthy essay medium wherein she accused cuomo of sexual harassment and described several years of uncomfortable interactions she said she resigned in 2018 after he forcibly kissed her during a meeting so imagine doing that to one of your staff members, right? As a as a boss, as somebody working in politics, knowing the power and the influence that you have and the uncompromised positions that you can put some of your employees in because they have aspirations of working for your administration, whatever it may be. And you do that and you don't even walk off the back of that. Imagine not having the embarrassment or the shame just to be like, you know what, I'm going to hand in my card now and keep it moving. It continues, she also alleged that he had compared her to a former girlfriend and asked her to play strip poker. What a sick individual. <coughs> it continues here. Let's do another one. Um, Charlotte Bennett said in late February 2020, Charlotte Bennett, an executive assistant and health policy advisor to Cuomo, accused him of sexual harassment, which included questions about her sex life. In March, five videos of CBS Evening News, um, anchor Nora O'Donnell, um, no, sorry, Bennett, the woman said that during a one-on-one meeting with the governor in his office on June the 5th, 2020, Cuomo implied that I was old enough for him and she, he was lonely. Bennett went on to claim that Cuomo's office director took the state's mandatory sexual harassment training for him. I was there. I heard the director say, I can't believe I'm doing this for you and making a joke about the fact that he was completing the training for him. And then I heard her ask, end him to ask. Then I heard her at the end ask him to sign a certificate oh my god so yeah clearly a bit of a piece of shit and then of course this is one of the most you know horrendous ones Brittany um comioso Brittany comiso Brittany comiso yeah comiso on march 9th 2021 it says here the times union of albany reported an anonymous um, member of the government the governor's executive branch staff had accused como of inappropriate touching on march 11th the same newspaper reported she said como called her to his mansion reached under her blouse and fondled her como denied the allegation Jesus Christ. On st- uh, April 7th, 2021, an unnamed executive assistant took over and that she had been summoned to the governor's office in November 2020 to help Cuomo the problem with his phone. After um, reaching him, Cuomo allegedly rose from his desk and began groping her. After the aide told him his behavior would get him in trouble, Cuomo then shut the door and said, I don't care. He returned and groped her one of her breasts under her bra by reaching under the blouse. She then left following the groping. A month later, she claimed Cuomo told her to cover up and that would uh, cover up what occurred her identity was revealed on june on august 8th 2021 and imagine this guy's with daughters too i think he used the daughter's excuse later on in his press conference but i don't know man the the shame of this is most likely he's probably gonna you know sliver back into politics again he's probably going to go on some sort of redemption tour he's probably going to do some you know therapy thing and there'll be pictures of him arriving at some center of sexual addiction i don't know you do some nonsense on it right something to make people believe he's not a creepy old guy anymore 
but it's just a shame that you know these public officials aren't held to any kind of standard where you would just leave off the strength of being embarrassed and having more cases being brought up and your family being put through all this emotional turmoil that you were so steadfast that you're willing to just sit and stay in his position because of what because he wanted the power he wanted to be able to be the covid president guy that was sticking it to trump and all this nonsense and now look at him like fondling women he's working with just an absolute ogre a beast and that makes it it makes sense though isn't it he was so visceral and loud with his disdain for trump and how he was acting when in reality he's just as much as a monster as that guy is himself isn't it like monsters and recognized monsters so he was probably just seeing a reflection of himself in the white house and he was disgusted at it and instead of maybe facing his own demons he wanted to call it out and make people take put attention away from what he does and luckily these brave women were able to kind of come up and say the experience they went through and kind of speak openly about it and now it's cost him his job the only thing he seemed to really care about um you'd hope it'd be a lesson learned but these people don't learn lessons they just continue keeping on so don't be surprised if you see him very soon on a tv near you crying and talking about redemption and changing he's already again used his daughters as a uh, excuse a scapegoat or you know a reason why he wanted to step away his daughters existed when the first accusations came around i don't know i don't know it's just it's just embarrassing all around but what do i know